Hey traders, it is Monday, January 6th. We're about an hour from the close. Thought I'd give you a market recap, tell you what the action looks like today. We had some really nice long green candles right on the open. These four kind of set the tone and then we gradually started to grind with smaller bodies. Market did nothing for about two and a half hours, just sat there and then we got a little pop higher, another compression, another pop higher. I think we might have seen the high of the day right here. We filled in the gap. We've got this long green candle right here, which is a breakout above this upward trending channel. Typically, these reverse back into the channel. You can see the lower end of the channel there. So that's what's happening right now. Overall, this is very good price action. All of the tension from the Middle East really didn't have much of a market impact at all. Buyers saw this as an opportunity. They came in. They didn't waste any time. First bar of the day, long green candle closing on its high. Grind, grind, grind higher. Take a look at that daily chart. See what it's telling us. It's telling us this is a bullish engulfing bar right here. Completely engulfs that. We're going to be closing right around this level. So the market doesn't care about what's going on in the Middle East. We preserve this longer term uptrend line. So I think everything looks pretty good. We've got earnings season cranking up in about two weeks or so. The bid should remain strong. We've got ISM services tomorrow, ADP on Wednesday, unemployment report Friday. Those <clears throat> excuse me, those should be good numbers. So I did run across a stock that I saw today that I think sets up well, though, for a bullish put spread, which incidentally, McDonald's looks like a great bullish put spread also. That's one that we've highlighted. I'm going to take the 1OP indicator off, get that out of the way. There's a 200-day moving average on Netflix. You can see another big bullish engulfing pattern right off of that 200 day moving average so you've got the breakout here support and it's been able to hold that very very well so that is around the 325 level on the nflx on nflx the stock so that's what we'd want to leverage for our bullish put spread so now what do we do with that we click options we let that option chain load january 17th Let's scroll down and see where those 325 puts are. And we can see they're right here. There's the 200 day moving average in pink. You can see that. You can also see where the uh, standard deviation is. That's one standard deviation. So we also have that to lean on. We're almost to the one standard deviation. I like selling this. You can see that you can get a pretty decent credit for the 325, 322, 50 bullish put spread. Right now, the 325s, I'm going to click on that bid. I'm going to click on the ask. And you can see that that spread is currently bid 55 cents, offered at 73 cents. I would work something in the middle, something around maybe that 60 cent level, 62 cents maybe. And I think you'd be able to get this done. Click submit, order working. That's how you do it. It's that easy to place an option trade. If I want to, I can modify it, I can cancel it, I can add to it, but I like that spread. I think that's going to work out pretty well. Let's go back and take a look at the stock again. So you've got this giant bullish engulfing pattern. I do not believe that it is going to come back and test that 200-day moving average again. Nice feature in Option Stalker. Hover over the E at the very end, and you can see the next earnings date, which is 121, which is January. When do these options expire? They expire on January 17th. We want these bullish put spreads to expire before the earnings announcement. We do not carry option positions over earnings announcements. We trade the stock before earnings. We trade the stock aggressively after earnings. There's no reason for us to take a crapshoot over the number. So that's how we play it. I think this is a really nice bullish put spread for you to take a look at. Good luck. I'll see you tomorrow morning.